The Lion King director Barry Jenkins has kicked Blue Ivy out of movie production. Subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss out on any information. In the world of filmmaking, it is impossible to avoid change and bring new opportunities and perspective. Recently, Lion King director Barry Jenkins made headlines as he began his much-anticipated project, a remake of Disney's classic The Lion King. However, amid the excitement, rumors began to circulate that Jenkins had decided to exclude Beyoncé and Jay-Z's daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, from the film's production. This sudden move has sparked debates and discussions among fans and industry players. In this video, we dig into the details of this decision and explore the possible reasons behind Jenkins' choice to look beyond the big names and embrace new talent. Best known for his epic works like Moonlight and If Beale Street Could Talk, Barry Jenkins is a master artist for his unique approach to storytelling. When it was announced that he was the director of the new project The Lion King, it was clear that he would bring a new perspective to this love story. Jenkins' decision to explore new talent aligns with his artistic style as he seeks to present untold stories and opportunities for underserved voices. While some may be disappointed to hear that Blue Ivy won't be in Jenkins' adaptation, it's important to know what the director thinks. Jenkins' willingness to work with new talent is not only a reflection of Blue Ivy's strengths, but an ability to engage with newcomers who may not have the same platform. By recruiting new faces, Jenkins seeks to bring realism and discovery to his version of The Lion King. This decision brought in new voices and new talents and contributed to the unique vision of the film. Jenkins' choice to find new talent in The Lion King is indicative of a broader shift in the entertainment industry. As audiences become increasingly interested in diverse and inclusive storytelling, filmmakers and studios are increasingly seeking new faces and perspectives. By embracing new talent, the film industry can move beyond tradition and open doors to other languages. This exploration allows new and unique information to develop and enrich the picture landscape. Barry Jenkins has defended himself from accusations of directing Disney's first film Mufasa, The Lion King. After the release of the movie Lion King, fans of the Moonlight director attacked his participation in the movie. One social media user on X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, called Jenkins too good and too talented for the soulless machine that is Iger. There's nothing in The Lion King that doesn't have a soul, Jenkins replied. Children around the world sat in movie theaters for the first time in decades, experiencing shared sadness and interacting with Shakespeare all the way through multilingual for the first time. It's a powerful combination of community love. Other users criticized Jenkins' response, saying the filmmaker didn't respond like that when Moonlight premiered at TIFF. What kind of logic is that? Jenkins replied. So, here are some videos from Barry Jenkins at the Moonlight premiere, as you say, showing some of the things I did in my spare time while writing Moonlight. Jenkins talked about the variety of work he's done over the years, concluding, kids have played a huge part in every project from Moonlight to now, and there's no break. You can say what you want about the movie, but tell me what I have to say about why certain things about CAP kids mean something to me. No, bra. Mufasa. In The Lion King, Rafiki tells the story of Mufasa to his granddaughter Kiera, voiced by Blue Ivy Carter. Aaron Pierre stars alongside Kelvin Harrison Jr., Mads Mikkelsen, and Thandio Newton also provide voices. Beyonce returns as Nala, alongside Donald Glover, Simba, Seth Rogen, Tymon, and Billy Eichner, Pumba. The film will release on December 20th.